Um, hey, we're two members of Robber Riot anyway, and you're watching Fast Forward Magazine. Hi, I'm Wes from Rara Riot. I sing and play some keyboards. And I'm Milo and I play guitar. The right. band formed in 2006. Uh, we were all going to school together in Syracuse University and we just, some of us knew each other and some of us, it was sort of a, a cluster of friendships or acquaintances and we all just came together to see what would happen if we tried to play music together. The violin and the cello were always part of the band from the very first practice and I think it was just really, I was curious to see what would happen having two full-time string players in the band. The only real vision that we had was to play music that might be appropriate to play at, at house parties or friends' houses, for our friends basically. But, um, I think it was geared towards being very energetic and, and sort of raucous and uh, that was really our, our only loosely defined goal. And uh, by the fall we sort of had realized that maybe it was worth doing full time um, and uh, soon thereafter we convinced Milo to quit his job at a prestigious architecture firm in New Haven, Connecticut. Um, and we, uh, yeah, we basically have just been touring and making music since then. At the beginning, uh, when we started and we were playing with uh, Shaw, who was our first singer, that wasn't really a big deal when he left because we were all sort of at the end of our last semester at school. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously there's a huge difference between that and uh, losing someone like uh, John. Obviously, John was a very meaningful person to us, and uh, he uh, lives on in the music, we hope, and um, we intend to do the best we can to remember him and uh, um, play his music the best that we can. Yeah, one of the biggest influences that I always keep coming back to um, is Kate Bush. She uh, she inspired me a lot through uh, all of our you know writing processes. But uh, yeah, the most exciting thing to me is just the uh, you know the theatricality and the uh, sense of humor, really. So she she informed a lot of decisions that I made, and um, also musically as well, so that's a, that's a major one for me. Uh, every song that we've written has really come from a different process, so there are some songs that, uh, you know, started as a, as like a riff and, you know, grew from there, like one of our first songs was Dying Is Fine, and that was like a riff from Milo that, uh, and a structural uh, idea that he had, and uh, we sort of built it around that. There's been other songs that were, uh, you know, started different ways, like Can You Tell was somewhat finished, like, um, before the band started. You know, it's, every song is different. Depends on you know who's who who has the seed. Yeah, we spent about six weeks on the road with Death Cab for Cutie uh, a couple of years ago now, but sort of became friends with them and got to know Chris Walla, the guitar player, uh, pretty well, and spent a lot of time just talking about music together. And when it came time for us to work out the details of how we were going to go about making The Orchard, we asked him to mix the songs. Yeah. We've got a rehearsal space now for the first time in uh, New York. It's like, you know, going to be hours, 24 hours a day, so hopefully we'll get some creative time in the summer and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens from there. <laughs>